Safe Harbor Dam. It's a hydroelectric generating plant. Um, the construction began in uh, construction began in April 1st, 1930, and it opened up in December 7th, 1931. As of yesterday, the water was 47 degrees Fahrenheit and murky. This can change at any time. Um, can't really see it, but there's like things on the wires to indicate to tell planes that there's, you know, wires, and it cost about 125 million dollars to build back then. Um, Pennsylvania Power Company held one third of the shares of this dam, while Consolidated Gas, Electric, Light, and Power Company of Baltimore held two thirds of it. Um, there's like orange, like, what are they called? Orange what? What are those things called? <laughs> there's orange balls in the water to tell the boaters not to, uh, go past those. And, yeah. At certain times, they open up the gates and, like, let water flow through them to fluctuate the water. Yeah. That right there is a fish lift to fit, lift the fish so they can migrate. Can okay, see the water levels can change at any time, and uh, there are the uh, fishing hours. So yeah, there you go. This uh, should have been at the beginning, but it wasn't. So yeah. after 9/11 happened, uh, Safe Harbor closed for a few years. These were some of the highest water levels that were here. These are in feet. March 19, 1936 was 193.1. Can't remember what the hurricane caused that. June 24, 1972 was 195.5 feet, and that was because of Hurricane Agnes. And January 29, 1978 was 202.4 feet, and that was because of the ice jam. This is in case someone falls in the water, you can throw this out and save them. Just opening up, they're opening up gates. When they open up the gates, a uh, loud siren was sound just to warn them that they're opening up gates. This is a fishing scale to uh, scale to the fish, but as you can see, it's a bit wore off, but this is the best one they had down here. There's a closer look at the fish lift. I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah. Uh, there's a better fish scale. 